Gentlemen, in today's video, we're talking about 10 winter accessories that should be in every man's wardrobe. You ready? Let's do it. First up, gents, we've got classic winter headwear. You got to protect that head during the winter. Right here, I've got the classic watch cap, also known as the stocking cap, the night cap, the beanie. It goes by various names. Now, if you want to know the differences, beanies usually have a little ball on top. And yes, men can wear them. Stocking caps, night caps, those are going to be a little bit longer. Now, the thing about the watch cap, it is a casual cap and there are other options out there if you're looking to actually wear something with a nice overcoat to dress up a bit and still be warm. Next up, we've got the classic flat cap, also known as an ivy cap. So this one here made from a nice felt. It's going to be in wool, so it's going to provide insulating properties. It also has an expansion right here, so it could protect my ears whenever I wear this. Now, you may be wondering what's the difference between this and the Newsboy. The Newsboy is actually usually going to have a pin right here, and it's going to be fuller in the overall design. Both of these look great when pairing them with an overcoat and basically more formal clothing. Next up, we've got the Ushanka, also known as the Trapper Hat or the Aviator Hat. What I love about this hat is you can wear it up, you can wear it down to protect your cheeks, protect your ears. It is a very versatile hat. And when worn up traditionally in parts of the world like Russia or over in Ukraine, you're going to find that this is a formal hat that can be worn even with a suit. Next up, we've got the Astrakhan, this hat coming out of East Asia. And why I like this one here is it's actually made from a very dense lamb's wool. It does a great job of insulating the head, protecting you from wind, all with a really unique type of style. You're not going to see this hat out there and I think actually could be added to a man's wardrobe to help him stand out from the crown and still be warm. Next up, gents, we've got sunglasses. And if you know your history and you watch Real Men Real Style, you know I've talked about how sunglasses have been worn by men for thousands of years, especially up in northern regions. When they're hunting, they need to be able to make things out despite the glare, hence why sunglasses originated. But sunglasses also originated because to protect your eyes from that cold wind. It can dry it out. It could actually blind you. So, hence sunglasses, very useful during the winter. The next winter accessory is the belt, but not just any belt. All right, can you see it? All right, gentlemen, so what I was trying to show you here is the wear mark right here on the belt where you normally wear it. Now, the problem with this is during the winter, you go to a lot of holiday parties, you eat a lot more, and all of a sudden, you've got to notch open this thing up, and what happens? All of a sudden, you realize, I'm getting a little bit big. Your confidence goes down. It's dealing with this issue, gentlemen, the shame that Anson Belt and Buckle, the paid sponsor of today's video, has come to your rescue. Guys, micro adjust technology, check this out, a quarter of an inch any way you want. You can adjust this belt. I've had this one for a year. Look, not a single mark of shame. Now, guys, I'm kidding, but you guys know I love Anson Belt and Buckle. For over seven years, I've been talking about this company even before they were a sponsor. This micro adjust technology, once you try it, you will not go to the other type of belts out there. I also love the whole interchangeable system. So, basically, these buckles come right off. They're going to work any strap. It's going to work with any buckle. And when it comes to straps, gentlemen, Anson Belt and Buckle has you covered. You want to be patriotic. You want to have fun. They've got you covered there. You just want something that matches your shoes. They've got a wide variety of different shades of all the most popular colors. And when you want something a little bit different, they've got new suede options. Guys, they've got vegan options. Go check them out if you haven't been to their website lately. And let's talk about their gift box. Guys, look at this right here. What man would not like to receive this? I mean, this thing is beautiful and you can choose. You get two buckles or three straps, three buckles or two straps, whatever you want, enough for six different belts. Gentlemen, check out Anson Belt and Buckle. I'm linking to them down in the description. Absolutely love this company. Proud to support them. The next winter accessory, gentlemen, is going to be the right winter fragrance. So, I'm putting this as an accessory because I do think that there are summer fragrances, there are winter fragrances, but really, once you get into this, you start to realize what I'm looking for in a winter fragrance is something that's going to last long, something that's going to have strong projection. Why? Because I want to be able to put it on in the morning. I'm going to put on multiple layers of clothing and it actually has to work its way through. Now, specifically, what are you looking for in a winter fragrance? You're going to look for cinnamon. You're going to look for nutmeg. Look for vanilla. Look for something that's complex, something that has depth. And me personally, I love incense in my fragrance during the winter because it reminds me of going to midnight mass as a kid. And that's the key is you got to find something that has meaning to you. But two things again, look for something that has sillage, basically projection and something that's going to last a long time. 
Next up, gents, we've got thermal underwear. And with everything, look at the style pyramid. It matters a lot. Yes, in underwear. Fit. Make sure it fits you. Any tight spots, this is fitting close to your body. It's going to irritate you. Do not bite it if it's too tight or way too loose. You want to be able to layer it. Next up, look at the fabric. For me, I want something that is not going to be at all itchy next to the body. So, if you have issues with wool, do not wear a wool insulating thermal underwear. Next up, should you go for the single piece or go for the double piece? Me, I prefer double piece when it comes to thermal thermal underwear because I like to be able to wear maybe the top or just wear the bottom depending on the other clothing I'm wearing. Next up, gentlemen, we've got gloves. Now, with gloves, a lot of guys think you need to match your overcoat, your pea coat. Not exactly true. I look to the shoes. So, if you wear black shoes, go with black gloves. If you wear brown shoes, go with brown gloves. And you don't have to have an exact match here when it goes to the brown and you can trade it up. These right here, navy, I love them. You can also go with maybe a dark green. The key with gloves is making sure that they fit your hands and going with something that you know you're going to wear. Now, when it comes to mittens, I think mittens are perfectly fine if you're in an extremely cold area. Area, but it is something that's going to be less formal than nice finger gloves. Next up, gentlemen, we've got scarves and neck gaiters. The whole thing here is to keep the neck warm. Now, neck gaiters I think are great, but they're going to be very casual, but they do a great job of keeping the neck warm. Now, let's talk about scarves. So, scarves are great because you can bring color into an otherwise drab outfit. But if you're going to start off your base scarf, go with a gray, go with maybe something with a blue. I like something with a contrasting color. That's a great option right there. But bringing in a color in a pattern doesn't need to be bright, but actually bring in something that draws attention, brings a little bit of focus in on the face, I think is great. Next up, pay attention to the material. The two scarves I just wore were a wool cashmere. This one is more of a cashmere and it's great, but it has a little bit more of an airy feel to it. Not going to be as warm as those other ones, but still very soft, very nice. And then let's talk about silk options. These aren't going to add a whole lot of warmth, but what they are is going to protect my neck from the wind and they're going to bring in a lot of color. Now, this next winter accessory is all about protecting your nice dress shoes and preventing you from falling on your backside by slipping and sliding on that ice and rain and all that slush and sleet out there. So, these leather soles, you're going to slide all over the place. I love leather soles. They are the sign of good quality dress shoes, but as soon as it ices, you're going to slide and slip all over the place. So, look to galoshes. Galoshes are going to fit right over the shoes. They're going to actually protect not only the upper and the sole, but they're going to give you traction on the ground. Maybe actually get some rubber soles and you could even use a cement and attach them yourself or just go to a cobbler. He can do this for you. This one little layer, which you can take off in the spring, that right there is going to actually give you a lot more traction. So, while we're talking about shoes, I want to throw in a few other things to look for in winter footwear. One of them actually is going to be insulation. Obviously, these are not going to work during the summer, but during the winter, this is such a nice option where you can find something that's insulation on the upper. Also, pay attention to the thickness of the sole. This is what's going to insulate you from the ground is very important. And again, if you can find something with a little bit of traction, that is great as well. And gentlemen, protect your upper. If your upper is made from leather, the salt and the water will damage that leather. So, you want to make sure first to put a layer of defense. That's going to be a wax. That's going to be a conditioner. That's going to be a polish that you apply after you wear the shoes outside. You come and you start to see salt stains on them. You need to wipe that down and then you need to condition them. Basically, you're looking to rehydrate actually the leather. Things like snow seal, mink oil. There's a wide variety of different products out there. Just start to use one of them. The only thing you need to be careful of is it can actually dark in the leather, so make sure to test it on the tongue. So, we're talking about your shoes drying out, guys. Your hands and your face dry out as well. Basically, that cold weather is sucking the moisture out. So, you want to make sure to have little moisturizers right in the pocket of your jacket. Easy to grab. So, you can put it right in your hands, put it on your face as needed. And lip balm is a must, not only during the summer, but during the winter. Heavyweight winter socks. Wool is the tried and trusted option out there. Been around forever. The issue with wool though is it can be expensive and I know some of you guys have allergies to wool. So, look to synthetic materials in a performance weave. You're going to find these at sports stores. These do a great job of wicking away moisture and keeping your feet warm during the winter. All right, gents. So, at this point, you may be wondering, what jackets do I wear with these accessories? I've got you covered with this video right here. The seven winter jackets that every man needs to know about. Go check out this video right here. I'll go into a lot more detail about jackets like this, the pea coat, and how you can match it with accessories. And gentlemen, don't forget, go check out Anson Belt and Buckle. I'm linking to them down in the description. Great company. And if you're looking for a gift to give to yourself or to a guy that has everything and is hard to please, he's going to love the whole micro adjust system. A great company. I'm proud to support them. I've known them for years and I love what they're doing. Great customer service, great products. Make a great gift. Again, guys, I'm linking to Anson down in the description.
Hey, you, really quick, if you like this video, click on that like button. If you're new to Real Men Real Style, click on that subscribe button, become part of our community. Make sure to get that notification bell. And if you've got something to add, let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you guys.